bitch. Is it his name Daniel Bryan? Bitch, this right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you feeling? That's how you giving it up? That's how I'm feeling today, cuh. <laughs> cuh. <laughs> Gotta write my shit to the side. Swag. You know what I'm saying? We here though, man. Episode 255. Hi, weirdos. Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Is it 255 for real? It's Let me check. Or is it 256? <laughs> I can't. I can't even keep count no more. I'll be honest Yo. with you. I thought you knew numbers, mathematician. Really? Sometimes mm. the numbers. What, what, what can you see? JoJo say, "Time is slipping away." <laughs> <laughs> These numbers slipping away from me. I can't keep track of nothing no more. <laughs> <laughs> It's really the random, <laughs> the random breaking out in the songs for me. Eve just added a whole new fucking thing in his resume right now. You adding <laughs> songs in his shit, like he turning shit up. <laughs> Got to. Eve, were you in the youth choir? Was I? No, I wasn't. I should have been. I would have had that shit turned up. <laughs> we needed you. <laughs> right, I would have that shit. I would have been rocking. I would have been on my Kirk Franklin shit. Would That's you have crazy. been a tenor? Yeah, your voice is deep. I would have been whatever Kirk Franklin is, a hype man. <laughs> <laughs> whatever that nigga is, that's what I would have been. <laughs> I had that shit rocking. You've quiet talking about, are you with me? Hey, nigga, I would have been rocking. Having a whole shit. Like, oh, yeah. We had <laughs> nigga, I would have had that shit bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> <laughs> when I had the whole church rocking nigga on my on my shit. The whole church was doing this shit right here. Look at what you did with the I am dead. Nigga, I would have had Highland bouncing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, Highland full of like Caribbean people too. So you know, they would have been with it. Word. Mad Haitian, Mad Guyanese, Mad Trinidadian people just dancing. Mm-hmm. Should have been rocking, man. Anyways, ah, we here. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. We here, man. I feel great. Thankful for a lot. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Niggas is out here, man. What can I say? Well, what are we thankful for? Should we go around the table? Let's do it. I think it's only right. It's the Who one time you do so. You go first. Damn, I was about to be like, let me spin, let me spin the wheel. <laughs> spin the wheel. <laughs> I was gonna say that too. Like, All I right, so spin the, the wheel. Go ahead. <laughs> That's the earliest Let's do it. Of the wheel. Like, I can't, I, shit. How many appearances will the wheel have for this episode? <laughs> what's the what's the over <laughs> under on the wheel? Yeah. I you say at see. least at least four times. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's see. I'm about to share the screen. Almost did X out this whole damn shit. Hold on. That's <laughs> funny. Like, damn, there we go. <laughs> All right, but let's see. I'm about to spin the wheel to see who goes first. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you could have saved a good many. Just, <laughs> first. Just had to spin the wheel. <laughs> hey, man, what can I say? Here. Thankful for a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Thankful for the, the team. My two best friends. Niggas is out here rocking. Rocking. You know what I'm saying? Rolling. Success. A- Airbnb. Discover. Tito's. You know what I'm saying? A blue wire. Seat geek. It's a lot to be thankful for, man. Niggas done seen a lot of success this year. And we ain't even scratched the surface yet. That's the ill part. You know what I'm saying? It's still early on. So, you know, thankful for all of that. The listeners, you feel me? 
thankful for for the viewership, the listenership. Shit is it's, it's cool, man. Everything is is on the up and up, the uptick. I like that, man. Turn it up. Turn it up. Mm-hmm. I like that. Should I spin the wheel to see who's next? No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Cody was like. <laughs> or any any chance we get to bring out the wheel but um like yeah man i'm just thankful and thankful to have this this platform doing this with with y'all of course you know what i'm saying just just for the little things you know what i'm saying to be honest like shit should be getting real out here as we as we all know you know what i'm saying we see everything was going on in the world and stuff and like you ever feeling down you just realize shit could be a lot worse you know what i'm saying so i'm just blessed to to for the day, basically, you know what I'm saying? Just to have another day and just be be here talking about wrestling with my friends, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Real talk. Yeah, I mean, honestly, everything that you guys said in terms of, like, having this platform, having the support that we have, um, being able to attain the success that we have. And as Eve said, it is very small at the moment, you know, but it's big for us because as you guys know, we came from just my attic, like, you know, just doing this for fun. And, you know, literally it's more of a hobby, but you know, we've gotten better. Like I'm grateful for the growth because like that speaks for itself. I'm grateful for, you know, my family, like just all my loved ones, my friends, my daughter, like, you know, just I'm grateful for a lot. I feel like this year has definitely opened my eyes um, to see how tough things can get and how tough things can be. And, you know, even coming from and as a lot of you know, like from my last job to the job I'm at now, like even that's a blessing in itself, you know, like I'm feeling like I leveled up and I know what it took to get here. So, you know, definitely grateful for every step along the way. Mm, heard that. Level up. I like that, man. That's the energy going into next year. Bringing in that. Drop a bomb for that, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gotta drop a bomb for the level up. It's only right, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> I gotta level up too. We gotta level up together. I mean, we have been. Nah, you 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 leveled up a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> a word, you done left word. Less left niggas in the trenches. Word, oh, talking definitely. about your rich friends. I'm like, hold on, wait, 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 whoa, 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 rich <laughs> friends. <laughs> Where my rich no. friends? At? Word. I mean, it's definitely cool. I feel like I actually haven't really been on the pod like that in a minute because of work. So, like, <laughs> you don't say. Just... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, like, it didn't come from me. So, yeah. just so that y'all know, um, I work I at a new restaurant called Tatiana by Kwame Onwachi, and it's really dope. Like, it's in Lincoln Center. The cuisine is Afro-Caribbean. The vibes are fire. We have these like clouds that hang from the ceiling. And we usually like it purple, but we'd be playing with the lighting. Purple. But the food. Yeah, but the food is bomb. The playlist is like strictly hip hop, R and B, nothing else. Mm. So it's a vibe. Um Mm. I feel like I actually can't say the reason why, but like soon it'll come out and then I'll be able to say it. But um, he does this short rib pastrami suya. So suya is, he's Nigerian. Suya. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry, man. You said, you said suya. I heard suya. <laughs> I ain't gonna see. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. <laughs> right. B F F R E. <laughs> Anyways, so Suya is like, um, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's an African barbecue. Okay. Um, so it's like. Kind of like street food, but 
he does it in a very like upscale fine dining way so it's like literally like a short rib the bone and it's like barbecued seasoned so well and it's served with um it's served with cocoa bread and the way that they do mm. the cocoa bread also is like in a little skillet like it's fluffy it's delicious it's buttery it's amazing That's so funny. it's between that for like entree and he does um goat curry well yeah curry goat patties Swag. i think they yeah that's I seen you post that. I was like, yeah, I need parts of this right here. Fire. He also does um truffle chopped cheese buns. So it's mm. like a mm-hmm. So it's like a grilled cheese almost with the chopped cheese. And then on top they shave truffles. Yeah, I might have to have the I might have to visit Tatiana's. I need I'm it. telling y'all, it's different. And it's cool because um KP actually hit me up and was like, oh, that's so dope that, like, this is your chef. Like, he's done so much um, amazing work as a young, you know, creative and stuff like that in D.C. So. Oh, he, he used is, to work out in D.C.? Uh, he opened a few restaurant concepts out there, um, not under his own, like, belt. Like, this one is his first. He mm -hmm. is going to open um, another eventually as well. But, um. Yeah, this is the first that's him like that. He opened us by him, but he has like helped open other restaurants. That's what's up, man. I I commend mm -hmm. niggas like that that can make you feel me. Look, look at what you're making short rib poutine or whatever you did, Su Young, whatever the fuck you just said. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I know I can't come up with no shit like that. Like, I open up a restaurant. That's nigga, you getting sardines and white rice today. <laughs> <laughs> with, is, with parsley on top. <laughs> Word, there's the garden <laughs> and a little vinegar. <laughs> I it. served that shit up. Niggas is like, what is this? <laughs> like, what you mean? The sardines, the aki way. Can't forget the bed. <laughs> never, <Yeah>. never, never. <laughs> they charge you mad high too, like it's some fancy yeah. shit. <laughs> Corn beef and white rice. Charge a nigga twenty five dollars a plate. I feel like it, somebody could do that nicely though and actually charge $25 a plate. That's what I'm saying. Look, if Jamaican Jamaicans, I'm 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 watching you. I'm on to y'all because y'all were charging $26 for a large oxtail meal, and that is unreasonable. Um, that is unfair. Y'all are price gouging, and I'm I'm hip. I'm I'm watching the tricks. You feel me? It's very true. Jamaican people need to be talked about right now. Because it's they need absurd. To be Jamaicans, y'all are under investigation. <laughs> Jamaican. Yo, it's absurd to charge that amount. Like you are golden crest. Why do you feel the need to charge me thirty dollars <laughs> for a plate of oxtail? Word. And look at where I'm getting it too. Like I had to, I had to humble myself so much to the point that I'm stepping into a golden crust for oxtail. And you still gonna charge me thirty two dollars? No, sir. no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Hey, if you make, if anybody's making oxtail this this year for Thanksgiving, that just lets me know that y'all have money. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all that. That's all that. But proves. the thing about it, though, Rich. I heard like some the prices of oxtail went down. So I'm like, I'm not understanding why this is still the cost. Mm. Inflation. They, they just trying to take the bread. Like now, like now it went down. But somebody help! <laughs> I, need, I need help, boy. Yo, somebody, please help me. Please help me. Help me, please. Like shit is insane out here, bro. Man, look, we about to have a light show, and I mean it this week. A light show. Yeah. For y'all, mm -hmm. we about to be in and out in an hour and fifteen minutes. I'm lying, but we'll see. Probably less. Uh, let's pay some bills and get to it, man. <laughs>
All right, y'all, check it out. We got five Patreon tiers, okay? We have the dollar tier, which is just a dollar. It's a donation. We have the $5 tier, which is audio and Discord access. We have the $10 tier, which gets you audio, video, Discord access, and a discount on merch. And the $20 tier is for the ballers. You get all of that, plus you get to be on one of the shows. That's on the Patreon, all right? Subscribe to the Patreon today. Become a patron. I'm Eve, and I approve this message. We out. The Black Announce Table Podcast. Let's do it, man. Black Announce Table Podcast, episode 255. We're going to hit you with the newest and the latest of what's going on in the wrestling world. It's that news and rumors, y'all. The segment is presented by Discover. There's no rumor about where you redeem your Discover credit card rewards. Learn more at discover.com slash redeem rewards. You feel me? Let that do fly. Yes. Fly, man. All right, man. Like we said, man, we're going to be in and out. You feel me? But where to start, man? I don't know where to start. Matter of fact, we're going to start with some on that AEW side of things, man. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Starting with it, man. The beef right now. The real <laughs> the real beef in the world, man. Jay Cargill versus Little Bow Wow himself, man. His name is Shad. Shad Moss. Who knows this picture of Bow Wow? <laughs> I don't I don't make the graphics here. I don't know, but his waves look nice though, Eve. They do. do shout out to Bow Wow's uh wave uh do, his durag line. Yeah. I don't know the name of it. I'm gonna call it S Most Durag. Oh, is S-Mos. it really called Silky? I don't know. Silky <laughs> by Shad. That's what I would say. <laughs> That's crazy. Silky. Call it S. S dot Moss and the S is for Silky. <laughs> Silky. <laughs> That's crazy. Silky moves. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Eve, you're so funny, bro. Um, I almost said something mean, bro. Look, man, as y'all know on social media, they've been going back and forth on Twitter and everything. You know what I'm saying? Bow Wow and Jay going back at it and everything. Mm-hmm. Then we had some video footage over the week, though. I'm going to play a little bit if I can. She been talking kind of spicy to him though. Like I kind of, I kind of don't appreciate how spicy she been talking to him. As you can it's, see, it's it's a little altercation. So okay, so for the, I'm gonna break it down for those who are listening yeah. and not watching. It's a uh, it appears to be an altercation between Jay Cargill and what uh, what seems to be her baddies, and Little <laughs> Bow Wow, who really looks little in this damn video. Yeah, hey. he looks puny <laughs> in this video. Like Dang. he has not looked smaller since like Mike. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, you ain't grow, you ain't grow since like Mike. <laughs> Calvin Cambridge. Calvin Cambridge. That was such a fire name. Nah, that is a little name. I can't front. The name Calvin hasn't had a better year since that year, whatever year <laughs> that was. Shit, Calvin Johnson. Calvin oh my god, Hall. and fine ass uh <laughs> Morris Chestnut was the ugh, I love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, she just took a turn all the way left. Like <laughs> Morris Relax. Chestnut is fine, okay. That nigga look like Charlemagne. <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Say he look like Charlemagne. <laughs> Shout out to Charlotte McGay. <laughs> Charlotte McGay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I like I said before, man, I kind of don't appreciate how spicy she's been talking to Bow Wow because it's like it's just Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? Like she over here yeah. talking about we we do play dates with your money and and this, that, and the third. It's like, like, why are you giving Bow Wow this much? Of, you know what I'm saying? Why are you giving him a lot? Like mm-hmm. you could have just left it at fuck out of here, Bow Wow. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, Shad. You could have left it right there, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like you're doing a lot. You go to this nigga, you go to his concert and you throwing popcorn at him. Like, I thought you wasn't a fan. What you doing here? You came to see Bobby V or some shit? I know <laughs> you ain't come to see Bobby V. Don't get man, don't work yourself into a shoot, man. <laughs> we know what's going on here. Mm-hmm. Bringing in Bow Wow, man, to the AEW land. And we gonna get the dream matchup we always wanted: Sting versus Bow Wow, nigga. <laughs> we <Yeah>. did. 
<laughs> nigga said Sting versus Gallows. <laughs> that a being thing. a dream match, like that's a terrible <laughs> dream, bro. Word, that's a nightmare. Who dream is that? <laughs> Word. But now I think I think there's like it's obviously they probably like run a little angle on the show. You know what I'm saying? This was probably taped for the show. I'm guessing. Cause I don't see it, like I don't see like why she is going that hard. Like obviously, I think they 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 working on something, man. Cause like you said, she going way too hard and stuff like it's that. Yeah, way too hard. Cause she was on the Breakfast Club too, and she was like throwing little shots on on there too. Yeah, that's corny. Yeah, she. Hey. She's Jay, dope. You you, she is dope, but you don't got to do all that for Bow Easy, Prince of the Old Town. Yeah. Just got the wheels clean. So I'm like, oh now. <laughs> Come on now. Come on, son. Real shit. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll be looking forward to seeing what's next. Hey man, me too. In, in fact, we could book what's next right here. I'ma present the wheel. Yo, come on, I gotta go to the wheel. <laughs> wheel up. <laughs> I told you the wheel coming up. <laughs> now Let's spin the wheel. Since we got it, Bow Wow got to have somebody in his corner. You know what I'm saying? I seen Jade. I seen how she works. That kick is kind of stiff. You know what I'm saying? It's known to lay niggas out. So I figured Bow Wow could have one of his Millennium Tour comrades, you know, help him. So let's see. <laughs> let's spin the wheel and see who Bow Wow will have as help. Who will be in Bow Wow's corner? <clears throat> Jade yeah. and the baddies versus Bow Wow and the Millennium Tour. Let's see. I pray to God. I hope this land on Carrie Hilson. Please, please, <laughs> Father, Lord, Father God. I hope it land on Bow Wow. I hope it land on Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if it land on Bow Wow, I'm going to be weak. Sammy? Sammy. Oh, I bet. They both little. They getting crushed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was going to land on Bobby V. I was like, <laughs> we got action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Bobby, it might be some, some furniture moving. That's tiny. <laughs> Bobby V? Hell yeah. But I feel like Bobby V is stocky though. Like he, he built like a like a Damn, building. you should have added K Michelle to that. Oh, she's Sammy. not on the tour. Is she, is she on, oh, I was about to say, is she on the Millennium Tour? I no. seen a picture of K Michelle the other day. I didn't even know it was her. Oh, I did hear that she looked different these days. Son. She looked different every year. She looked mm. like a whole new person. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. But yeah, man, Sammy. I, I, hey, look, I hope you know how to take a kick to the face, man. <laughs> and I hope you can help Bow Wow, because from the looks of it. He needs it. Facts. Bow said he was training with Rakishi, but whatever. What well, Rocky? She, you know, I ain't even gonna say nothing, man. I ain't so. gonna hold you. Hold <laughs> on, man. Hold on now. I was about to cut a shoot, bro. I was about to be like, what? What can Rocky? She really teach you how to do? Shit. Besides, pull your drawers up. <laughs> man, Bow Wow might be on to something, man. Hold on. <laughs> Bow Wow come out there and start wrestling like fucking Ricochet or somebody. I'll be like, you gotta wipe your eyes. We gonna be like, what the fuck going on? Man? <laughs> Yo, yeah. imagine Bow Wow was a dope wrestler. Bow Wow. I would be. Bow Wow put on some nigga shoes and turned into a great wrestler. Like, nigga, I, know, I know this ain't the plot of Like Mike all over again, nigga. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I was about to say make a Like Mike too, but they already did that, son. They did with did who? They? Romeo? Oh God, that movie is horrible. Do- why would you say Romeo? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I guess. But hey. nah, they had the nigga from um, what's the other nigga? Um, <laughs> Kel from um, Keenan and Kel. He was like playing the little nigga um, older brother. What? Yo, that movie is straight ass cheeks, boy. Kel yeah. was in the movie. Yeah. Some things is made to be left alone, man. But oh, like Mike too with Romeo would be fire. Produced by you know Master P like making movies and shit like that. That should be called like Percy or some shit. Like that should have been ill. That nigga yeah. Master P got mad kids named Percy, Hersey, Versy, Cursey. <laughs> nigga didn't even try to switch the shit up. It was like, all right, all right, Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Cursey and Versy. 
Mercy. <laughs> like, <laughs> try harder. <laughs> Stick nah. having the Dave kid doctor coming like, what you gonna name this one? Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Who the fuck? Like, Yo. like, dude, the street boy. <laughs> yeah, that shit look garbage. Oh, that shit is trash, boy. Like Mike. Okay. <laughs> like Ike, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they need to make. So like Ike turn. <laughs> <laughs> I know who started in that. I ain't gonna... <laughs> Niggas need to make a like. I ain't, nigga, that shit. Should be turned up. I ain't gonna say nothing, man. These jokes are getting crazy in my mind. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that sound drags some heat, though. Uh, <laughs> fight teams is gonna be heat, nigga. Nigga, Yo, the field like, day. Hoi, hoi, hoi. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a karate movie. <laughs> that shit gonna be fire. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> like I, I said, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Niggas gonna hop in the air like the Matrix. Do a mad kick <laughs> in the air, kicking a nigga in the chest like this. <laughs> It's like, yo, this shit is hot. <laughs> okay, karate movie. Yo. Oh my god, who are we casting in that movie? Oh man, <laughs> not getting me, man. <laughs> who is like Drewski? <laughs> yeah, <all right>. so, <laughs> yo. Yo, fucking okay, Trick Williams. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> now we nah. gotta get Reggie or some shit. What, what's that nigga new name? <laughs> oh man, oh, s- 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 nah, I'm gonna find this nigga name. Man. Yeah, there we go. Scripts. I was gonna say Sapphire. Close enough. Whatever. Tomato, tomato. Hmm. You see my slide? <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I shit his ass. Hey man, some so you gotta start your way from the bottom, man. Come back up. It's all good. That's just the worst mask I've ever seen in my life, but okay. That's, oh. that's the homie, man. I'm tight. <clears throat> oh, man, man. We can move on, man. <laughs> that was funny. Wow. Yeah, that was a good laugh. All right, man. December 13th, Vice, the Vince McMahon doc. I'm here for it. I'm going to just say that. Yes. We need to watch this as a family. Hell yeah. I, I, I don't I don't I don't want them to hold nothing back. I don't want them to hold nothing back. I do. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Can't have my slime looking bad out here. I hope yeah. I hope this shit is pure. I, yo, I so I hope this is all propaganda to make Vince look like the greatest of all time. <laughs> I, so. make I think Vince it's gonna like be a little thing. dark. Of course, if Vice doing it, of course it's gonna be dark. Yeah, but I, the only reason I'm saying they shouldn't be doing it right now is because I feel like, why? Like, why now? Like, like well, I feel like why him. not now? He already looks bad. It's I was crazy. gonna say wait until he passed away, whenever that may no. be. Wait until the future, bro. Like 15, 20 years from now. Like, I don't, I don't think we need to do it right now. Isn't what? I think now is the perfect time. Yeah, well, he just retired. He just retired, and yeah. It's just like we want to end. He's been in the news on all this bullshit going on. It's like, all right, that name with all these headlines still in the in the news and everything. Drop that shit now. Didn't they drop his uh they dropped the search, didn't they? Or the investigation? Oh, 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 oh yeah, they finished it. It's yeah, good. it was like th- this shit costs way too much money to be investigating, man. Fuck this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They it spent like, 19 million on the investigation. Sheesh. See? Wouldn't have been me. See, if it had y'all just left this nigga Gmail alone, y'all would have been chilling. Somebody went tampering and found some shit you wasn't supposed to see. Had you mind your business, you would have 19 million. Where, where is John Lauren? <laughs> Knight? That's what I want to know. Like, this nigga just. This nigga had Papa John's, man. That nigga cooling. John. Um. Yeah, we definitely gonna be tuned in for that one. I'll tell you that much. You said when, December 15th? December 13th. Mm-hmm. So we definitely gonna be tapped into that. 
It's just like a mouthful. I know you want to move on. It's just like a one part documentary, or is it like? Yeah, they said it was um a two hour joint. Mm. Nice TV's two hour documentary. That that ain't enough for Vince McMahon, man. Word. We need like we need some like uh, last dance type shit. Real Six shit. parts, two hours a piece. Like niggas need like real. Cause think Vince McMahon legacy is way too big and crazy to to fit into two hours. Like, yeah, that's true. So I already yeah. noticed. I like now that you say that, I ain't, I don't I don't even want to watch that shit no more. Cause now I'm thinking about it. Two hours, nigga, that shit ain't gonna be dirt. Unless yeah, like two hours, two hours. Like, you can't tell the you can't tell the whole story in two hours. Yeah, unless they just get to the bullshit, uh, two hours of bullshit from Vince. And you hey, I don't I don't want to throw no dirt on Vice name, but I that's what Vice does, you know what I'm saying? So it's I feel like it's just gonna be a, a two hours of the bullshit, and then that's it. The real documentary gonna be on like HBO or something, Hulu or some shit. Yeah. Vice, I, don't know. I mean, I'm gonna watch it still, but two hours. You can't tell a Vince McMahon story in two hours. The yeah. Nine Lives of Vince McMahon. I know they throwing dirt. Just the name of it. The Nine yeah. Lives, but it's two hours, one episode. Man, fuck y'all. <laughs> Let me get nine parts. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> Real that's shit. that's facts, though. Yeah, I'm not lying. Um, what else we got here, man? Let's get into Bianca, man. Bianca out here still doing her shit. The reality show with Montez on yeah, Hulu sure. is coming up. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tune in. She about to be out of here soon, man. That's so a lot of reality out of here. Out of here. I know that's right. Bianca is gone. She was on uh I was gonna say USA. Is it USA today? I think it was USA Today. Her and Montez, they was out there um basically spreading the word about Survivor series and their upcoming show on uh Hulu and everything. Mm. Yeah, man, she's uh she's she's gone, she's a star, man. The, the media runs is, is getting bigger. People mm. magazine today, like she's she's doing the, the big circuits now, so <sighs> I'm proud of you, Queen. Fly, fly, be free. They said Damian Priest was considered for a role in um Black Panther. Yeah, is he uh what's my son's name? Nomar, Neymar, Namor. <laughs> He's uh you know, spoiler alert. If you didn't see Black Panther, then too bad. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Namar or Namor, whatever this man's name is, he's the uh the I guess the king of the uh the underground sea people. And looking back at it, if Damien Priest was cast as the you know as him, kind of would have been fire. I'm not going front. It would have been pretty ill. Mm. But that that kind of looking back, it's like all right, that that would have been a, a nice casting. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damien Priest is the king of the underground sea people. The Talakans or whatever they called. She would have been ill. I'm 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 just letting y'all go get go off. I, I haven't seen Black Panther one, Black Panther two. Damn, mm. I'm just like lost in the in the lost in the talks. Yeah, but this nigga don't tap into into the cultural movies. Shame on you, brother. Yeah, that's terrible. What was the last movie you seen, man? Friday. <laughs> <laughs> that's my. That's the best movie ever. I don't gotta see now. Nah, matter for you know what movie I was. I was I was watching the other day what I was watching for um barbershop. <laughs> I was just like, yo, why am I sitting here watching barbershop? Look at what you watching, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching some bullshit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was watching barbershop. Just randomly. Which one? The first one? Yeah. <laughs> That's the one when they still <laughs> when man's <laughs> Anthony Anderson booked the ATM. <laughs> I was like, yeah, look at this shit. I'm watching. It was, it was a nice sunny day out, too. <laughs> this nigga in the crib just watching barbershop. It's <laughs> nice outside. Birds is chirping. You inside watching Anthony Anderson steal an ATM. Look at, yeah. That's what it's come to. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> exactly what it's come to, man. Oh, oh man. man. What we got? Acknowledge me. I'm the blueprint. 
the strong S, the fastest, the roughest. I'm that bitch. I don't miss this week in wrestling. Yes, sir. This week in wrestling. Oh, man, we didn't get to talk about full gear. Happened on Saturday. AEW pay-per-view. Let me bring up the card. Get some thoughts off on full gear. Eve, did you tap in? How do you feel about full gear? How do I feel about full gear, man? I I saw... I didn't see a lot. I saw like a, a couple of matches. Um, I think I've seen Swerve in our glory and the claimed. I saw the main event. And I think I saw um was it Jamie Hader and Tony Storm? Yeah, I think I seen like those three matches. Um Um how did you feel? Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm a I'm a lead with love. I don't know, man. I was from from what I saw, I was just I just had a lot of questions. Like why I said why a lot. Like <laughs> why why well, I, I feel like there was like three three matches where niggas had to bring in like a wild object talking about yo use this. You know what I'm saying to to win a match like uh, Swerve brought a, a like a wrench or some shit. Uh, MJF had the brass knuckles. Um, somebody else had like a hammer. So it's like, bro, like what are we doing? Like, yeah, I was like, bro, niggas, just we gonna keep running the same, the same spot. No, none of y'all went over this. There wasn't a team meeting. Nobody said, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna do this. And niggas, you feel me? Like everybody was just like, all right, like me too. <clears throat> um, what else? The Jamie Hader match. I'm actually happy Tony Storm lost because she uh, was. Uh, I feel like she was talking spicy. So, and it's to uh to Thunder Rosa. Okay. I feel like she was talking spicy. You feel me? Talking about the real. You know what I'm saying. I don't know that that beef is kind of confusing to me because mm-hmm. I know they they've been going back and forth for a little minute. Um, and I don't just the interim championship that shit just doesn't make sense to me, bro. Still, it's like, why? Like, what's the point of this? Yeah, that that's that's one I don't understand either. It's pointless, it's real, it's really pointless. Pointless, like you either a champion or you're not a champion, man. I'm, um, oh, go ahead. Like, no, 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 go ahead. You got it. Um, as far as the pay per view, like I, I, I feel like this was if you wanted a way to bounce back from the previous pay per view and all the bullshit and shenanigans, this was the perfect way. This is a perfect way to bounce back. Like, you know, what I'm saying we we get we crown a new champion. It should have been CM Punk doing the job to MJF to like cap off their story. Like I was been like I've seen it coming from a mile away. Like soon as as soon as they start interacting. You knew what was gonna happen once Punk won the world title and everything. Should have did they should have did that, but obviously we didn't get that. But we got a new champion. It's a crowning of MJF, one of the young dudes. He's gonna lead this company. Why you, you, you do it now? You know what I'm saying? You do it now. At first, I didn't know what they was gonna do because they brought Mox back to come um regulate some shit because all the bullshit, but all in all, I think it was a good decision to put the title on MJF. He, after the match, after the show, he cut a little promo. MJF gets How do you it. feel about that? He gets it, man. He gets it. I, I, I liked it. I liked the, I liked the match. So, seen Regal turning on on Moxley with like he was talking about he he looked the devil in his eye before when Moxley was cutting the promo. He was looking right at Regal. Like you, you've seen it, like and like that's why AEW. Some of their stories is good, like you know what I'm saying. You, it may be a little predictable if you read into it too much, but it's it's, it's a good story. You know what I'm saying. They did the best they can with Punk walking out and everything. Yeah. I like that. Um, Jamie Hayter, Tony Storm. You know th- that this match was fire. T- Tony Storm looked like a fucking <laughs> beast in defeat because they they had her going through mad bullshit. 
just to and yeah, you know, just to end up losing, like you know, what I'm saying you made her look strong in this match, regardless of losing the title. I like that. Sting, Darby Allen, Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal match surprised me. That's the match. I I, I saw that match also. Hey, I, I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. I I I enjoyed it. There was no need for this TNA ass match, man. This bound for glory ass <laughs> match, bro. We did not need this, man. And I'm saying we like look, I'm not even like a if y'all liked it, then I love it. You know what I'm saying? But to the to me, there's no point. Why is Jeff Jarrett here? Why is Sting here? Why is Darby Allen still with Sting two years later? Boy, is not growing. You're not doing nothing. You you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Was it wasn't Darby one of the pillars or some shit? Like I thought you were supposed to be one of them ones that people saw as like a, a legit, you know what I'm saying, contender for championships. Like you just over here attached to the hip of sting. Wasting yeah. time. Shouts out to those people that believe that. I, I I just felt like Darby was a fan favorite. I just didn't see him as, you know what I'm saying? Maybe call me stuck in my ways in the old ways. He don't look like a champion. This nigga Why? is small. This nigga is tiny. <laughs> but boy, he go out there. He he be taking a fucking beating out there. He, he good be at his ass back. beat. Hell yeah. That's like that's this. all he good for. That's all he do. <laughs> I, I I was surprised. I didn't expect to enjoy that match. I really didn't. So Darby tried to do the <laughs> Darby tried to do the coffin drop off the ladder. My man, um, great Kali. <laughs> he caught that nigga <laughs> with the ease. <laughs> I'm like, yo, you are a toddler, Darby. You are a toddler. Uh, Samoa Joe defeating Warlow, Powerhouse Hobbs, like that. Oh, Triple man. Threat match? Yeah. Triple hey, threat. Man. Samoa Joe, God bless. I hope you don't get hurt, man. <laughs> Double champion. By the way, man, if you in AEW and didn't win a championship, <laughs> I don't you know. Move. You are a bum. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking bum, nigga. Everybody won the championship at AEW. Nigga got a million Joe. titles. Some old Joe got two of them shits. Nigga just came over there. And only one of them means something. All right, man. Nigga's got the, well, he got the ROH TV championship. Whatever mm-hmm. that fucking means. <laughs> <laughs> man. TV champion. I love Joe, though, so shout out to Joe. Look, man, I ain't, I'm gonna just like I, I Soraya <laughs> versus Britt Baker. Hmm. How was that? The nicest thing I could say is, you know, she's wrestling again. This oh, was, I forgot Paige' name is Soraya. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this match was ass. I was gonna be like, who? Sukihana. <laughs> I'm crying. Saku Japan. <laughs> how, how long did that match go? Let me see. 12 mini. Damn, that's 10 minutes too long. That shit was ass. <laughs> that shit was ass. The, well, the, what, what was ass about? It? Maybe she's just rusty. Yeah, that's what it was. It, it was <laughs> This was ass. She came out there. She was emotional and everything. Her brother flew in from overseas to watch her and everything. So once she came out, you could tell she was about to like tear up and be emotional. But like that's the best thing I could say about the match. Like, you, like the <laughs> match, you know what I'm saying? I don't. I felt like she should have lost because that match. Is she just she won. Win. Yeah, she beat Britt Baker. Wow. I'm like, mm, yeah, the match was horrible and the wrong person won. But hey, it is what it is. Let's say the better about that. Chris Jericho defeating Brian Danielson, Claudio, Sammy Guevara, Fire. Mm. Like the Jade and Nyla Rose match. Yeah, cool. Death Triangle in the Elite. <laughs> like you said. Fire. And you, and you wasn't jacking that match after that uh that Breakfast Club interview. Nah, I'm cool, G. I'm <laughs> cool. I gotta call it how I see it. I like you, but nah, this wasn't it, Chief. Not for the kid. Man, let me see. How long did that match go? A smooth whopping eight minutes. <laughs> Sheesh. I ain't gonna say nothing. Go ahead, continue. 
Not for the kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that. Just not for the kid. I missed the Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus cage match. So I heard yeah. that was good. Good but, for um, you. I'm glad. I'm glad you missed that shit. Damn. <laughs> not feeling hey, man. Jungle Boy. I, I feel like, bro, come on now. It's Jungle Boy, man. Come come on. And Luchasaurus. Uh, Dinosaurus. Come on, man. Y'all, y'all ain't for real. Are you serious? Are you ain't for real? Come on, man. I feel like they've been beefing for like eight months too. Like, bro, can can y'all, can we kill this beef? This should be extinct. You feel me? The same way dinosaurs are gone and extinct, man. That's really what need to be extinct. That fucking gimmick. I said try. <laughs> See what you did there. That, that should really be gone, but hey, all I'm gonna say is, what can I say about this pay per view, man? Fire. I, I can't qualify because I didn't see the whole shit. Based off off the matches I saw, my I say my favorite match was probably the the Jamie Hayden and Tony Storm match. I feel like that was the only good match that I really saw out of like the four or five that I saw. Um. <laughs> I don't that the MJF and the Mox match didn't do it for me. Man. I look, man. I'm a, <sighs> did, you see the, did you see uh, the Jericho joint? The fatal four way? No, nah, I didn't. Did you see the I came the, in at, um I came in at the Jay Lethal Jeff Jarrett match. So I think that was after. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, okay. All right, so that makes sense then. All right, that makes sense. No, I, yeah, that makes sense. But nah, man, this I don't know. I'm gonna I'm a be honest about Mox and MJF, man. John Moxley is average at best. Mm-mm. The man is average, okay. And I'm tired of niggas acting like John Moxley, the hottest thing smoking. This nigga's like a fantastic wrestler or some shit. No. He's average. He's just an average Joe. Just because this nigga run in the desert in some black jeans and boots <laughs> doesn't make him a, a, an amazing wrestler, bro. Like, no. He's good. You ain't great. You're average. Like, you, you alright, but you straight. And so is MJF. MJF is a, you a decent wrestler. Like, you're not, you're not popping, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I was watching this match, I'm like, bro, niggas is not doing nothing to blow my mind here. Like I'm really, I'm not blown away. I'm not moved. I'm not intrigued. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, I don't know. I feel like niggas are just going through the motions, man. It was alright. Uh, apron spot here, table spot there, brass knuckle spot here. Whatever. But I will say this about MJF. I, I say I said it before though. I feel like MJF got the tools to be a great heel, or one one of the best heels in the business. He's just I feel like what's holding him back is just I feel like he's not even him. It's just I feel like he buys into his own hype. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like people is gassing him, talking about like yo M- MJF is doing great work, fantastic work, and it's not that I don't even want to call it great. He's doing good work. But it could be better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like he's hit a ceiling. You know what I'm saying? Like, all his promos sound the same. Everything sounds the same. Like, I would, If I uh, ask you to distinguish an MJF promo or tell me one MJF promo that stands out, like, I feel like niggas can't really tell me that because they I, all sound the same. I felt like in the lead up to this match, he kind of like changed shit up because he was going, everybody thought he was turning face. Everybody thought he was going babyface. You know what I'm saying? He had the crowd behind him, said he wanted to beat um, Mox without any interference, without any, without the brass ring, all of this stuff. And it was like switching over, like, yo, he's about to be a babyface. The crowd rocking with him and everything. And then, obviously, it was all, a, you know what I'm saying, all shenanigans and bullshit. So, yeah, but he did it's, that it's, before. It's, it's, but it's it's there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's got it. He He can do it. No, nah, yeah. I know, but that's why I say, like, I feel like he got the tools, but it's just, I feel like he got to, he got to hit that next level. You know what I'm saying? Like, and now when he go, like, he go to the press conferences, the scrum, whatever you want to call it, he cut this the same promo 
I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's to me, it's just like, bro, like you singing the same song almost. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I don't like that is because like didn't the rock cut the same promo for seven years straight? Nigga, the rock could play the guitar though and make it <laughs> laugh. Like. Act. <laughs> Word. Nigga, MJF ain't out here for playing the guitar, singing tunes. <laughs> Hello, I've seen The Rock do his whole, um, you know, their little ceremonial thing that they be doing. He can speak what, a different the, language. The haka dance? Yes. <laughs> hey, when the MJF rock. come out with, with the big belt buckle and, and a guitar, then we gonna have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> but until then, <laughs> like, you not a. Hey, I don't know, man. I'm just waiting for him to take it to that next level, man. Well, I mean, he we got the tools, though. I, I keep saying that he has the tools. He just ain't there yet. The show is his era now. We have to see, man. He's the world champ. We will see what the future holds for MJF. So you know, what I'm saying we rocking with that. Um. Anything else for this week, man? You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep things short. We will be right back at y'all. We're going live after Survivor Series. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And y'all also getting an episode on Thanksgiving. So, I mean, come on. We feeding the streets, man. We feeding the streets. So, you know what I'm saying? There's a little Roddy Rich. little World Cup update, man. I got Braun winning this World Cup, by the way. I'm going to just say that. Damn, it should be my son Santos. Shouts to Mexico. So, yo, speaking of World Cup, hold on, man. Let me let me tell y'all something, man. Uh oh. The okay. World Cup is a goddamn suspect. Why? Today. What do you do? I place, matter of fact, I'm gonna read these off to you. Uh oh. To show you just how full gazy this World Cup is. And I think this right here is really what's gonna stop me from sports betting. And game right here because I've I've had enough. Enough, enough <laughs> is enough. Okay, I'm broken to my core. You feel me? <laughs> it was a four leg parlay. Four games today: Argentina versus Saudi Arabia, Denmark versus Tunisia, Poland versus Mexico, and France versus Australia. Mm. Cool. I know what we're all thinking. I was about to sing that walk. What's that shit? I took the chill. <laughs> yeah, I thought of too. So I'm like, all right, I'm looking at these these games. I'm like, all right, I could this is an easy come up right here. I could turn 10 to about 60, 70. You know what I'm saying? Easy. So I'm picking I pick Argentina over Saudi Arabia. Cool, which should be Argentinians is nice in soccer. They literally worship a soccer ball. That's their god, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it's, like, yeah, it's like, yo, this should this should be an easy pick, you know what I'm saying? I pick Argentina, I pick Denmark over Tunisia, because why wouldn't I? You feel I know a shorty named Tunisia. You feel me? I know someone named uh someone from Tunisia. Really? Mm-hmm. It, what's their name? Tunisia? It's like no, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I, I pick no. Poland. I pick Poland over Mexico and France over Australia. Normal things. You know what I'm saying? This this right here, for easy four legs, should win. Bro, why do I wake up and I see that Saudi Arabia beat Argentina two to one? Oh, my God. I saw oh that. God. That was like breaking news, I think, on Complex. Oh, my God. People Lionel Messi. Head. Lionel Messi, here's what I need you to do. You see that chair right there? I need you to put your <laughs> ass in that chair. Because why <laughs> are you losing to Saudi Arabia? Brother. Who's even on that team? Oh, you don't know say saying. You feel me? Hey, I don't Saudi know. Saudi Arabians or like? Hey, I don't know who on that. Mo- All I know is that Argentinians literally worship a soccer ball. There's no reason why you should be losing, bro. Y'all pray to this nigga. You pray to Wilson. I see literally. Pray to <laughs> soccer ball, bro. <laughs> Y'all niggas praying to a soccer ball and you losing, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. That is wild. I, I seen I Mary seen a Donald tweet turning over his grave, man. I seen a tweet. Bro. They said um the US face England 
for rights for over 21 Savage. I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, man. Shouts to 21. I seen the clip of 21 about to beat somebody up on a basketball court the other day. Yo. <laughs> I was like, 21. 21, chill. <laughs> Take it easy. He was like, y'all fouling too much, man. I was like, bro. I was like, see, this is why her niggas can't play sports, man. Yeah. They're too emotional. N- niggas get hit and you want to go get a gun. Why? Mm. <laughs> 21. <laughs> can you do something for me? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I play we play that song so much at my job. Mm-hmm. At least 12 times a show. <laughs> I think it's hitting 21, 21 times a day. Crazy. Sad lit. Thing. Every time we all be like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. All right, what do we got next? Look, man, we're gonna get into we don't have oh, we don't have Sea Geek. We don't have a Sea Geek rest of the week this week you know what i'm saying so with that being said we're going to get into survivor series the war games predictions you know what i'm saying we're here let's do that yes you know what i'm saying it's been a long time coming man mm-hmm. oh we here man first match on the card aj styles versus finjamin Balor. may we see the card Oh, this is it. Yeah. I love this. Cute. Go ahead. AJ Finn. All right. Hmm. (laughs) Let's see. Oh, man. I'm going to go with Finjamin for 200. Just remember his streak, Eve. Three years. A loser. AJ. <laughs> you been my you used to be my dog. You was in my left titty. <laughs> you not a die. I thought you would ride with me. Boy, you've been losing for three years straight. And I had no clue. I was blinded. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to get my shit. Hey, I'm going with Finn. I'm trying to get my shit back, man. Damn, man. No <laughs> loyalty. That's crazy. You hey, got, come on, Eve. Bro, you've been losing for three years, man. And what if he lose? He break that streak this week. Hey, then I I, I should have believed. Hmm, should have believed. Water. I got man. I got Finjamin, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving, <laughs> <on. laughs> moving right along. Next match on the card: Ronda Rousey puts the SmackDown Women's Title up against Shotzi Blackheart. <laughs> Easy, Ronda. Facts, big Ronda. Big Ronda. Yeah, man. That was, that was the- this one is a joke. <laughs> yeah, nah. This one really is laughable. Yeah, matter of fact. Sh- <laughs> Charlotte Flair, please come back. <laughs> every pay per view, every pay per view, we gotta say that. That's me. I say it every pay per view too. So begging for Charlotte to come back. Man. Like, why would Ronda Rousey even think to put this under eye red? Uh, you know what? Take the shit off my screen, anyways. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, Shasi won for just getting a match. So I'm going to just leave it at that. <laughs> um, <laughs> next up, man, we got a triple track match. Why so- they couldn't give Bobby any chapstick for this photo? <laughs> <laughs> this. So high. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me. Yeah, that's nasty. This is a setup, bro. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> man, we got triple track match for the. United States Championship, Seth freaking Rollins, Austin Theory, Bobby Lashley. What's good? What's going on? Triple Tret. Triple Tret. I got Seth retaining. Yeah, I'm going with Seth freaking Rollins. Ephraim, you pick first. I can copy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah, obviously. 
going with Seth, man. Come on now. Wow. Come on. Like, for real. For yeah. real. Why you, why you not going to pick Austin Theory? Why you not going to pick Bobby Lashley? Or you don't support the Blackie? You don't support the brother, man? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you neither. That me, y'all ain't pick him. <laughs> Shit, I was the one asking the questions. <laughs> here we go now. Now I feel like we about to get some separation here, man. The women's Ooh. war games match. We are here, man. We are here. We got Team Bianca Belair, Oscar, Mia Yim, Alexa Bliss, and a mystery opponent versus Damage Control, Nikki Cross, and Rhea Ripley. Hmm. Who do we think the person is going to be? Whoa. Dana yeah. Burke. <laughs> Queen oh, Beck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Eve, I'm, the Eve, stop saying that, son. I'm telling I wanna, you. I wanna, I'm, I'm put, I'm putting that in the atmosphere. I want it to be Dana Brooks so bad. Oh my god, it's Becky, man. I swear, if they, they have me wait. <laughs> oh, who is it gonna be? Dana Brooke, man. I'm turning that shit. I told you, I'm turning that shit smooth off, and I'm gonna just set up to do the live show without seeing the rest of that match. <laughs> I can't wait. Mm. I'll be crying. I'm going to say Sasha Banks. You're funny. Can we put a point on this? Since <laughs> can, we, can, can we put a point on this? Because uh... you never know. If Becky's coming, you really think if Becky's going to come back? I don't think she's coming back yet. Becky's coming back. It, that's how this whole Bianca and Bailey shit started. I mean, that would make sense. I got Becky coming back before Sasha Banks. I, mean, I got a lot of people coming back before Sasha Banks, to be honest with you. Kawhi CM Leonard going to return to basketball before Sasha Banks come I'm back. Crying. CM Punk going to come back to wrestling before Sasha Banks. Oh, wait. Oh, hmm. no. She's a bear. Yeah, man. We, we but Well, let's see. But anyways, who y'all got? Okay, so we all picked who we got is gonna be the mystery person, but um for the match, I got damage control. Same damage, same. same damage control. I hate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we all got team damage control, man. This is the last one. I'm not sure they probably announce another match on Friday, but who knows? Um the men's war games match. We got the bloodline versus the brawling brutes. Drew McIntyre and Kevin Owens. The bloodline. Hello. OTF. I'm going to go with the Brutes. Yes. I'm not going to lie. I'm going with the Brutes as well. I feel like this is where shit separates. You know what I'm saying? The, the, like, let's be real. The bloodline been winning way too damn much. <laughs> like, hold on. Word. It needs some division in this. Like, somebody going to cause something to – Sammy probably cause niggas to lose or something. And then, all right, let's get somewhere. Let's have some different interaction because this shit is – all right, let's speed shit up. Thanks. All um, right. There we have it. Sammy going to cause Jey Uso to, to, to eat the pen or some shit. Some bullshit like that, man. But mm -hmm. yeah, man. If any other matches be announced, y'all know, man. We're gonna be on the social media. We'll send our picks over to the social media pages and whatever. And right after the pay-per-view, the live event, the premium live event. I gotta get that right because I keep saying pay-per-view. I'm just so tapped into the old regime, you know what I'm saying? But I'm right after the, okay, yeah, right after the premium live event. We going live, man, on YouTube. We might be on Twitch too, man. Who knows, man? We might be everywhere. So yeah. Mm. Tap. Turn it up. Like that. Shouts like that. to Twitch. Yeah. Uh Thursday, December first, nine PM, live on YouTube on the BRP channel. The Black Pod Connect. You feel me? Running it up. Our trivia 
extravaganza giveaway. You feel me? The the good old guys at over at the A Show, us and Black Wrestling. We're gonna run it back, man. We're doing a nice little holiday giveaway. Um, and yeah, man, make sure y'all tap in. We're gonna release more info soon. So definitely check our socials, our Instagrams, and our Twitters for more information. But definitely tap in to uh our YouTubes, youtube.com slash uh black wrestling and youtube.com slash black announce table. Because yeah, man, we're gonna go live and make sure y'all tap into the Patreons also because that's the only way you can win this giveaway. You gotta be a patron of either us, A Show, or Black Wrestling. So to you know, if you're trying to win something, tap in. And if you're trying to increase your chances of winning, tap in all three. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially ours. Pro tip. Bingo. Hi, weirdos. My bad. Somebody talk to me nice. And everything I do, I don't do. I do the other thing. Everything I go across the street that way, I'm going up. TTMN. But we here, man. Talk to me nice. But before we get started this week, Talk to Me Nice is sponsored by Tito's, the official vodka of the Black Announce Table. Savor responsibly. Also, Body More Bottles, Baltimore's number one alcohol review show. Tap into Body More Bottles on YouTube for the full TBAT drink of the week. Let's get it. Mm-hmm. You- now, shouts to the homie Kung Fu Eddie. Uh, he said, hey, man, my fault. Hey, y'all. Sorry I'm making you read, Eve. Long day, been sick and sad about JDF death. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. Sorry, brother. Uh, he said, "What are you thankful for? Uh, what are you thankful for? Your favorite wrestler? Mm, thank you for the super duper ultra mega joint show. Please hug your loved ones. Call the people you rarely talk to, and talk to someone if you feel alone. Love y'all, definitely, man. Yeah. Love Absolutely. you, Eddie. Love you, Eddie. Um, what are you thankful for? Your favorite wrestler? Hmm." What am I? What wrestler am I thankful for? Yeah, I'm kind of. This is just funny because he read it with confidence, and then he was like, "Wait, what?" Yeah, because he was like, "What?" Well, I'm just reading what's on the screen. You know what I'm saying? What wrestler said, oh. are we thankful for? Roman Reigns, <laughs> Tribal yeah. Chief. Who else? Hello. Who else? Who else is hotter? Who else is better? Who else has two belts? Who else is so fine? Who else has that amazing sleeve? <laughs> who else has the wettest hair? <laughs> who else? Who else? Who else I been champ for almost? Dick, you're a dick. <laughs> the boy you're the fucking mouth, dog. <laughs> who else? Uh, who <laughs> else? Who else been? Who else been champ for like a thousand days? <laughs> the tribal chief. Who else is not a loser like these two? I don't give a damn. <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a damn. <laughs> the tribal oh chief. my god, man! What's going on? <laughs> Just the pressing shit on the boy, like for real. That was crazy. Y'all really some haters on the tribal chief for real. Oh man, what wrestler am I thankful for? I'm thankful for whatever wrestler stopped by this show, man. If you stopped by, if you showed some love. If we got to interview you, I, I appreciate you and I'm thankful for you and, and your time. So yeah. that's what I'm thankful for. I like that. I'm rolling. I'm going with that answer. Great answer. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Make your own answer. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> no. Matter of, matter of fact. No. <laughs> Fuck you. Why would she call you a dumbass like Red Foreman? Like. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> oh man. Shouts to uh Just Vance. He said TTMN in the spirit of Thanksgiving of the Thanksgiving holiday. Can you each name something wrestling related that you are thankful for? Have a safe and happy holiday to y'all and your families as well. Appreciate you, brother. What are we thankful for? Wrestling related? Mm. The WWE. Jay Car Bianca Belair. <laughs> <laughs> Thankful for that. 
Mr. H is taking over the company. Word, new regime. Thankful for that. <laughs> Shit, I don't know, man. I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that anymore, but you would have asked me a couple months ago, like when it first happened. Yeah, I was just cool. thankful for Vince McMahon. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> look at nah, you. I don't look know. At you. That honeymoon phase is, is hitting me hard. But um, wow. what, I'm, what I'm thankful for, man, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm thankful for Seth Rollins being a fighting champion. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's one of the first things that come to mind. You know what I'm saying? Giving us that fire on a on a weekly basis. So shouts out to Seth. I I just keep it real wrestling related and not try to dive too deep into it. Same deal. I said what I said, man. God bless Bianca Belair and Jay Carter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Chris, what would you say? Roman Reigns? Uh, Yes. Actually, I said Mr. H's. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. And before and Roman Reigns. And and before we go on, yo, Jay Uso, you gotta relax, my nigga. Like now you just breaking character every week, my nigga. Like, hold on, get it together. Word. Man. <laughs> nigga, put your put a mask on or some shit. Put a shiesty over your face, man. Stop laughing. <laughs> Stop laughing. Uh shouts to Rome. He said, TTM man, if if is it time to spin the wheel for Zach Wilson? Hell yeah. <laughs> hey. After that, hey, after Sunday, boy, hey, <laughs> oh, we got to spin the wheel, man. Zach Wilson, we got to spin the wheel for you, brother. Yeah, you I, don't, fact, I don't watch the games like that, but I heard Stephen A going off on first take. I, was, I My first thought, I thought of you. I was like, damn, I know Eve going through it. <laughs> Bro, I got this yeah. wheel of... This wheel is the niggas from the Millennium Tour, and I take any one of these niggas <laughs> over Zach Wilson. So right now, I'm in the wheel to oh see my who God, let's see. will be the Jets quarterback from the Millennium. Let's see. <laughs> Trail Bill! This nigga got three niggas in quarterback. Hey, I got first, second, and third string. I, I take either one of them. Either one of them niggas is going to be five points. I take it. <laughs> That's nasty work. Very nasty, but I take them niggas over Zach Wilson. You got the um, nigga. I know. I know the nigga. That's. I know the nigga that's starting to. <laughs> the nigga was some cut. The nigga was like, "It's your boy, Mister Funkadelic, with the big." <laughs> <laughs> that's when you got started. You yeah, got man, I take anybody <laughs> over Zach Wilson right now. I take the Yin Yang Twins. Shit, I take the one with the three fingers, bro. I take anybody, nigga. <laughs> Come on, Zach Wilson, you're, you're out of here, pal. All right. <laughs> Can't do it no more, man. Yo, Eve, you are so stupid. That's so funny. Hold on. All right, so yeah, nah, I'll take any one of the niggas over Zach Wilson. Shouts to Body More Bottles, man. Let's see what they got to say. Bang. Yo, what's good? Sponsor of Body Shout out to the Black Announce Table. Shout out to the public enemies. This is my TT MF for the day. I don't know if y'all know, but Thanksgiving is the biggest drinking holiday. So, my question to y'all is aside from the Tito's, of course, what's the go to drink for the day? Holla at me. Peace. Mm. Mm. That's a great question. Aside from um, the Tito's. I usually drink a lot of wine on Thanksgiving. Personally. Can't go wrong with the wine. Yeah, I'm. I'm going hard, man. To I might. I'm supposed to be linking up, having a little, little something with the homies. I'm. I'm going. I'm going crazy. Tequila <laughs> me up. Tito's me up. I'm cool. Yeah. I, I haven't been drinking dark, so it's definitely going to be on the light side. Some tequila, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't been drinking much dark either, but um, the, the last time I went out a few weeks ago, we went to the spot and we had a lot of bottles. We had you know, a lot of bottles left over. We had some Casamigos left over and some uh, some Henny VSOP. So mm -hmm. I, I calmly just put them in my jacket and walked out with them because technically that's our bottles, you know what I'm saying? We paid for this, so uh, I'm probably gonna be tapping one of them bottles, probably the VSOP. 
You feel me? So I, I think the VSOP gonna get cracked for uh, for Thanksgiving. Might tip a little brown. That's okay. that's a legendary movie. Got to do it, man. It's only right. Niggas made me pay one eighty for this bottle of VSOP. I'm best believe I'm leaving with it. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's only right. Uh, shouts to Ron. He said, "Who will be the heavyweight and women's champion in two years? Assuming the two, okay. Assuming there's a two belt for each show, okay. Uh, who will be the heavyweight and women's champion in two years? Two years." Damn. What are we looking at? 2024? Seth Rollins. Seth's <laughs> Bianca Belair will still be women's champion. Yep. Probably. I'm with that. That seems the most reasonable and believable. <laughs> Shit, probably mm-hmm. wrong too. And I'm gonna say I'm, this: this might be why I'm gonna say Austin Theory in two years. I say Austin Theory will be champion. I can see that. So I'm gonna say Austin Theory for heavyweight. Yeah, that's if um Roman gets bored, <laughs> which I doubt. So still Roman. Because <laughs> right, the way it's looking, man, Roman ain't coming off that. End. And yeah, nah, you're gonna have to shoot that nigga to get, <laughs> to get him off. So <laughs> and still, he's just gonna raise up. Word. <laughs> peel the bullets out. I think it said peel the bullets. This thing is terminated or some shit. Yep. <laughs> Oof. Fine. Anyways, go ahead. Let me see. That man was crumb. Is Damn. there any TTMS? Let's see. Damn. Okay, but we got one last one. Shouts to Jawan. Black announce table. What's good with y'all, man? It's your main man, JB Great. I'm over on the Instagram now. Uh, I kind of, I'm kind of getting done with the Twitter, so you know it makes it more easy easy for y'all to listen than y'all reading. But my question is for this week is: If y'all had a seven on seventeen, you know, obviously Thanksgiving is Thursday. If y'all had a turkey turkey. Game, whatever turkey for game. Who's y'all seven or seven squad? And who y'all going up against? Love y'all, man. Happy Thanksgiving. Drink all the drinks that y'all need. Might buy me a bottle of Tito, so you know. But happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Y'all be safe. Definitely need the Tito's. Not the Tito's. Definitely need that. Also, I still owe you your your Bianca shirt, Jay. So I'm a. I'm going to figure it out. I just haven't had time to go to the post office, but I definitely got you. It's right. Literally, I'm looking right at it. So, uh, I got you. But, yeah. Seven on seven. What's our team, man? Who we who we picking for our turkey bowl? Hmm. I already know who on my team. That's I got the black. I got the bloodline. This is the easiest seven on look. It's me, Roman, the two Usos, Solo Sokoa, the Brown Breaker, <laughs> and Montez. That's seven niggas right there. And then who we gonna go up against? The Brutes, because the, them niggas don't know nothing about football, American football. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sure they play at soccer and shit like that. So I know y'all don't know nothing about American football. Y'all don't know That's about facts. the rules. So <laughs> it's going to be rules. Us. It's going to be us versus Sheamus. Oh, no, I want to make this team trash. Hold on. All right, it's going to be us against Dominic. Otis. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, Otis type. So we could put Otis on a team. Mm-hmm. Who else is tra- I'm liking what? this? Trash. I'm coaching the team. Mm. <laughs> I'm running plays, nigga. This nigga on the sideline with a clipboard. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> with a visor on. <laughs> Who else should be on this team? Who was butt? Ali. Wow. What? You just- <laughs> that nigga ass. 
Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dying on that hill. <laughs> I don't blame you. I wouldn't either. She, he dying on that hill. Ali, man, it's time, bro. Them, you getting your ass beat, niggas don't even care, man. You doing <laughs> tricks, niggas don't give a damn, bro. I'm sorry, bro. You feel me? It's time for some alternative uh, nigga career advice or some shit. He should mm-hmm. be a model. Like a hit. You know, like in the barbershops? Like where... Nah, like like the barbershop model that be on the, like, um, the chart. It's like, yo, let me get a number six and the nigga's just there like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ali should be with his braids. <laughs> nigga should be a braid model. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, not you snorting. Not the snort. <laughs> Yo, because he said it, you just got to do this. <laughs> that nigga still might get his ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> By who? <laughs> Just get his ass beat in a, at a photo shoot. Yeah, man, I was looking for him. He'll find a way to get his ass beat. <laughs> Grab that nigga by his his ponytail. <laughs> the cameraman be tight. Hold still and just beat that nigga. Ass. <laughs> that nigga is, he can't catch a break, son. At all. Oh shit! All right. So who else on this team? I'm gonna put up uh, Byron Saxon. I feel like Byron Saxon can't ball. Um. I'm going to throw Omos on there because he's big and slow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you think Omos could play football? You, you know you need right. acceleration. You need to be agile. Yeah. Hell my, yeah. <laughs> Just blow by that. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, you hit right. nigga with one of these, he fall down. Oh, All right, bro. All right, so who I say? I said uh, Dominic. I said Ali, I said Otis, I said Byron Saxton, I said Omos, I need two more. Mm, let's think of some shitties. Swerve? Definitely. Take it. Swerve, Swerve might be all right, I ain't gonna hold you. At football? Play, I, I can see him playing some corner. Might be a good Well, save. he's one decent person on the team. Go ahead, one more person. All right, one more. Who the last person? Sting. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ric uh, Flair. Uh, <laughs> look at the team. Luchasaurus. X. <laughs> Dan House. Oh yeah, nah. Let me, <laughs> let me get Dan Housen on that team, man. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> About to clean them boys up, man. Team full of bums. <laughs> Nigga, but, Eve running, playing running back, just running through Dan Housen. Roman not even doing <laughs> at first. <laughs> Roman ain't doing nothing neither. Oh no, the Roman, 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 my running back. I play QB. <laughs> <laughs> nah, y'all might fuck around and lose. <laughs> <laughs> he fuck around and lose the game. <laughs> I, I, I throw 15 interceptions. <laughs> throw 15 picks. Throw the ball right to Omar so they can just catch it like this. <laughs> nigga oh. said we gonna lose if I'm QB chill. Nigga, I'm not Zach Wilson, nigga. <laughs> I'm not Baker Mayfield. What I look like. I'm nice, nigga. Yeah, I'm out right. here. You remember on uh, Jamie Foxx show? This nigga was Jukem Jamie. Nigga had that tight ass uh, Pop Warner shirt. I remember. <laughs> nigga, I said, I, nigga said, I'm Jukem Jamie. Nigga was playing against Lawrence Taylor and Warren Sapp. I was like, all right, man. This got to be a sitcom. In what world is that just happening? Out of nowhere. Word. <laughs> Anyways, shouts to J-Man. Shouts to Oli for tuning in. That's yeah. it, man. Let's do it, man. I, 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 I give my all. I give my all. It is your boy, Cody Dre. You can follow me on all social media platforms at Cody Dre. You know what I'm saying? C-O-D-I-E-D-R-E, man. And I'm going into this Survivor Series War Games pay-per-view. I am the champ. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to hold in, hold on to this title. You know what I'm saying? 
for long. You know the vibes. Listeners, y'all know what's going down, man. Thank you for tuning in. See y'all on Saturday right after Survivor Series. Come kick it with us. Come vibe out with us. Y'all know the vibes, man. Same place, same time next week, man. Cody Dre. Anyways, Cody, nobody cares. <laughs> Follow me, your girl, at Miss Suku, everywhere on social media, especially Instagram, Twitter, you know, all the good stuff, TikTok. Um, I am your former champ. Um, I don't give a damn. <laughs> I didn't interrupt you with your little bullshit ass, you know. No, so you had your time. You had your time. So, sit your, you see that chair? <laughs> sit your ass. <laughs> no, nah, I right, see. No. Nah. Yeah, sit your ass in it with your baby belt. <laughs> Diva's title. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so again. Go ahead, go ahead. People, follow me, the tribal princess. You already know I will be getting my title back soon. Oh. <laughs> this week, then next month. <laughs> <laughs> if not next month, then the following month. <laughs> but it won't be in three years like AJ Styles. So Damn, son. there you go. There you go. And I'll mm. see y'all next week. Have a great holiday. Um, thank you guys for everything for rocking with us. And uh yeah, shout out to you and yours. Oh my god. Guys, make sure y'all tap in with us on YouTube, youtube.com slash black announce table. Patreon.com slash Black Announce Table. Uh, Black Pod Connect, like I said earlier, December 1st, 9 p.m. on the Black Rational YouTube. We're going live. We're giving away some things, man. We figure, hey, let's let's give back to the people that has given to us. You know what I'm saying? So the only way to do it right for the holidays is to show love and give back to you guys, the people that support us from day one through the good times and the bad times, man. So make sure y'all tap in for that. Uh, Black Announce Table on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Air, Hive, whatever that is, whatever that fucking means. It's some new shit, I guess. Um, and yeah, man, it's Eve, Sky High Eve on Instagram and Twitter. You know what it is. Bishop TD Sycamore, the certified good you, Eve Luch, Mr. 255, Millie Kidman, Eve LaFleur, Fax Dupree, Rudy Joe Bear, Lil Uzi Vert. But most importantly, I'm Mr. AKA and bitch, if you act up, we let that AK spray. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving, everybody. Be thankful. Be merry. Don't burn your cribs down. And we'll catch y'all next week, man.